I preheat my outdoor grill for about 10 minutes and now it's nice and hot. So what I do is I open up and I just use the brush and give them a quick brush. You want to make sure the grill is pretty clean. And also, I have this uh, paper towel. I just use some uh, cooking oil. Just give them a gently, lightly brush. If you think that's too hot for you, you can just use the tongue like this to do it. This will prevent the chicken skin or the meat or protein get sticking on the grill. And now the grill is very hot. So we're just going to put the chicken drum in. This chicken drum be marinated overnight. It's going to be really good. Oh, smell really yummy already. Once you put it in on the grill, right? Don't try to touch it and let them like sear for a couple minutes before you can even give them a quick flip. To cover up for two minutes before we give them a flip. I got this insert dynamometer. It's perfect for outdoor grill. After two minutes, What I usually do is I'm just going to use my spatula, okay? Give them a quick, like, scrape it off from the bottom. Make sure they're not stick together, you know? I think two to three minutes is good enough for high heat first. So if you cook it too long, grill it too long, and some, sometimes the skin will stuck, right? See, that's what we want. We want it crispy outside and still juicy inside. Now the grill is nice and warm. Oh, it's beautiful. And today, it's not too windy, so the grill cook evenly. Sometimes, if the wind blowing from different direction, you have one grill is hotter, like this one is a little hotter. But now, let's organize them a little bit. As long as they not stick together, if they stick together, and you just have to let them grow for a couple minutes until the skin. See how beautiful that is? This time I'm going to let them grow high heat for two minutes too. Now it's time to uh, give them a quick flip again. They're doing pretty good. Seems like they're not stick together. Nice. All right. So now you see the drumstick is nicely grilled. See the grill mark? Very nice. Now we're gonna turn the heat down to medium or medium dough. Depends. You know, sometimes this drumstick you can cook from 20 minutes to 40 minutes. Depends your grill. So now we just give them a quick flip again. And then we're going to let them slowly cook. That's why I need that insert denominator. Alright. Make it nice and pretty. Give you some idea. Let's for instance, the heat here is hotter, right? Switch the bigger drumstick. And whatever heat is smaller, we switch around. You see this? Smaller pieces go here. Let's say this is a small heat. Seems like the wind start blowing this way. So we keep all the big drumstick here. How's that? This one too. You just kind of like play around with that, okay? Like that. This one's pretty big too. So let's switch this one to this one. All right? Sometimes if you have your like a charcoal grill, like fire start flaming just because you have fat and the oil drip down, sometimes you can get a bottle with the water and just spray, cool off the fire a little bit without getting so burned, you know. Back in Asia, we will cook this outdoor all day long. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to turn the medium heat, let them cook for 10 minutes. 
So I just give them a quick flip. And then I put my dynamometer insert into the chicken drumstick. So now the temperature has reached about 154. So when the drumstick reaches about 160, I'm going to take it out and let them uh, carry on cooking for another 5 to 6 degrees. So in the meantime, I have this zucchini and carrot. I'm going to grill some zucchini and carrot. Some olive oil, salt and pepper. It's good enough. It's going to take about a minute on each side. Don't cut it too thin. Beautiful, right? You can do eggplant, bell pepper, fruit, any kind of vegetable and fruit is good for growing. The chicken is nicely done. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's crispy and crunchy outside. The inside is still juicy. I do have some leftover marinated sauce. Some people like to brush a couple times, get them more flavor, but I think this is good enough. See how beautiful that is? Oh. This is our weekend treat. It's beautiful. Gorgeous day out. Therapeutic for me. Love doing this. Probably another 30 seconds will be good. So we are done grilling. So you probably see all these residues on the grill, right? I usually just cover up and turn a really high heat and make sure your grill is away from your house. And then I'm just gonna let them burn and clean at the same time for a good five minutes. Look at this gorgeous chicken drumstick. You can make your own chili paste sauce go with that. And a great idea to cook out. I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.